What time is it? Do we know? It's probably well. It's gone six. Yeah. Because the alarm went off at six, and we've had a bit of a lie-in. Yeah, haven't we? Um, so actually, it was quite nice here. Really, I thought it was quite yeah. sheltered by this little hill, but it's still pretty grim out there. I think. So look at this. Don't see much through there, can we? Hello world. For those of you who don't know us yet, we are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, the tiny Nissan MV200 built by Sussex Camper Vans. We offer tips and tricks for how to survive in such a tiny van and also try and demonstrate just how easy it is to wild camp. Stick your seat up. We're quite close to the road aren't we but it's it was quite quiet, I thought. Well, I didn't hear any traffic. No. Last night. Nice little spot here. No, uh, no signs saying no camping. No. no charges. Morning world. Still pretty much the same weather. That doesn't blow away. Put my foot in it. Is this charge the shower after the last use? Now you better give it a bit of charge first. Yeah, get that plugged in and we'll give it 15 minutes. Okay, should we make the coffee? Yep, and then uh, that will be charged up, won't it? Yeah, how much coffee we got left now? Then, or oh, not really enough? No, I'll have a um, herbal tea, I've got some. Um, Spicy ginger tea bags, they'll be fine. I fear we're going to have to come back here on a better day because we're not going to get any sense of the colours of the landscape here with this low cloud scraping along. Still, we're not in a rush, are we, Bunny? Certainly not. Not when the weather's like this, we just pootle around. Yeah do some food shopping anyway and find a good internet signal oh yeah we've got to get your phone sorted out haven't we get it updated naughty girl not updating her phone before she comes away one power of the 1.5 gig download is it 1.28 gig 1.28 to gig download. download the new software mm. well, i didn't get um, notified that there was a software update there should be a figure one we need to add a reminder to our to-do list before we come away make sure all the phones are updated and all software that you need has been downloaded didn't like yes, it did no, it didn't. I can see it's not lit. It is. Oh, oh. you're doing the kettle. Yep. <laughs> what did you think I was doing the I pan? I thought you were doing the pan. Yeah. Doing the kettle. Yeah. We've been having trouble with this uh, this one. one. It, it uh, will light and then it'll instantly go out and then you have to wiggle the little thing, can't remember, thermocouple and it stays alight but I think it's on its way out. Right, it's time to uh, back up the memory cards now. And my system is, I, I, there's normally three cards, but there's obviously one in the camera I'm holding to film this. So I put the full cards this side of this magnet. It's a very weak magnet, so there's no danger. And I use an Apple SD card reader with a NAR box to back them up onto a hard drive. Uh, and once I've done one, I move it from there to there, so I know that it's been backed up. Then I have to take all of these and put them into the iPad. So I've got two backups, and then they go back there one at a time once I've done that. As soon as I've flown the drone, the card comes out, it gets backed up onto this, so that if I lost the drone on the next flight, I've still got all the footage. Now, would I recommend a NAR box? I'm not so sure. 
they're a bit expensive for what they are um, but uh, this is the first time I've been using one on this trip that's that one done can be a little bit fraught when I'm backing up cards memory cards um, because it's so easy to become distracted and then you end up wiping a card and losing everything that you've uh, you've filmed hmm, not getting any better can't even see the hill now gone blue that means it's fully charged and we're ready for a hair wash hair wash time okay let's try this how has this got in the box i don't know charlie i like putting these things together yeah satisfying isn't it? it's satisfying it's like building some sort of puzzle Bingo. but it's easy just getting the carpet we're out of the way the so we don't get it wet because we can wipe the floor yeah Just put it here and then I know and I can hand it to you. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay, head over the bone. I'll let you do it because you know how much you want. There will be people who just don't believe you can wash your hair in such a small little van. But you can, can't you, Charlie? Were we in Ireland the last time we did it inside? I think yeah. we were, weren't we? Up that misty hill. Yeah, hill. I remember. <laughs> a bit like today, actually, yeah. wasn't it? Does that feel better? Much better, thank you. Good. Clean hair. And I can have the rest of my coffee. In peace. Yeah. Just topped up the water and uh, now I'm going to get rid of these bottles. Whoever does the bins around here is blooming brilliant because they're always empty and there's plenty of them. They're every car park you go to. I think birds must be like people. They don't like flying when you can't see where you're going. You can't stop the daily jobs just because the weather's not very nice. The crow is getting hungry, so he's off and so are we, as it's time to try and get some breakfast. Yeah. Google Maps has brought us to Amluk and we're going into this cafe on the right. So this morning we're giving the Key Cafe a try. Oh, yours comes with a tea yeah. or regular coffee as well. It's got to be at a large breakfast, I think. Yeah, tea for me. It soon became a busy little place, which is always a good sign, and the tea came quickly. <laughs> Lovely, thanks very much. Cheers. Do you want any sauces on board? And smart sauces. Brown sauce. Brown sauce. Oh, yes, please, yeah. Does anybody else suffer with these blooming sauce packets? We need a little solution for this. Are you into that sauce yet? I am now. 
like to stick my fork in it. Clean plates again. Clean plates, Clean plates again. again. Very good breakfast. That was a cracking breakfast at the Key Cafe, so we can really recommend that. And no, we don't get given our breakfast free to say that. We always pay for our food, and if we like it, we'll tell you. So next on the agenda is a little walk around the port. Places that I've been, the faces mine are friends, fondly, fondly, in those with murky. Will you stop making that ridiculous noise, Carol? Told you she'd come up the stairs. Yeah. As we get out the door, twist to stop, twist to release. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Sail Loft Museum and it's free to enter and it details the rich history of shipbuilding that once took place in this town. There's a very nice cafe downstairs but we're still full of breakfast. Dotted around the inlet, you can still see the remains of the old shipbuilding yards. Look how this harbour is constructed from huge stones. The day is going well. Breakfast was great at the museum and the port was all good. But now it's time to move on and see what else we can find. Even though we're not planning on staying here tonight, it's always good to explore and see if you can spot any suitable places for another time. Not clear on today, I think it was yesterday. We've driven up and down this road a few times in the past couple of days. The weather is good, so it's time to see if we can take a look at Paris Mountain. It's clearly a popular place for walkers later in the day. It's a bleak old looking place, but at least the mist has gone and we can now see it. Paris Mountain is the site of a large copper mine that was extensively exploited in the late 18th century. Paris Mountain is a mountain in name only. 
It's actually a hill with an elevation of barely 150 metres. Copper ore has been mined here since the Bronze Age. Copper ingots have also been found bearing Roman inscriptions. The ore was of low quality but very easy to get at and consequently Paris Mountain dominated the world's copper market during the 1780s when the mine was the largest in Europe. We're only getting brief glimpses of sunlight which is then showing off the beautiful colours here but maybe later on this evening we'll get a better view of this. Meanwhile it's a beautiful place to rest up and relax. Martram Fair Trade coffee beans, rich and full bodied with dark chocolate notes. How's this open then? Just pulls apart. Must do, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. Try not to tear it in case we, it doesn't all fit in the box. You have to seal it. <laughs> do you have to be Superman to pull it apart? Because I can't pull that apart, to save my life. We've got a clip, haven't we? Yeah. Don't cut the bell. I always used to laugh when I saw people doing this in videos, but I'm the fool because I never realised how therapeutic and enjoyable making coffee actually is. What we'll be having tonight then? This is the easiest meal you're ever going to see. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it? It doesn't look very nice. No, they don't, do they? <laughs> so this is two packs of chicken tikka masala and rice. Yeah. Mixed together. What's in there? And we have a pack of samosas and onion barges. Mmm. Yummy. 10 minutes and you're done. Is it done. any wonder people are pleading with us to do a cookery book? Around stodge. <laughs> hey, you're very thin out the curry. I bet it's tasty that. So these are just two packs of curry that we picked up from the co-op in Amluk. This will do nicely. Is it tasty? Yeah. Good. Well, well done. Mild. Too mild for me, Jose. Later that evening, the weather was kind to us, and Carol went for a walk whilst I toured the site with the drone.
If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.